All right, I know you guys are all like, this is going to be so cool. I can't wait to get into the arts and crafts. I just can't, you know, I miss kindergarten and the scissors and stuff like that. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to look at the, uh, the intro first. I'll come back. I'll show you what we need to get, okay? from the canvas, what you guys are going to need to get is you're going to need to get measuring tape, some scissors, probably a blade, a sharpie. Uh, it's really getting kind of warm out, so we're going to need some kind of hydration and something to open it with. So uh, go ahead and gather these things. I'll give you guys a minute, then I'll show you the other part that I bought to make this all come together. So what I did is I went on to Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description of where to find this, but I got this from Raptech and let's open it up and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna have these pieces of wood here. Those will come in handy later and This is gonna be the kit that we need, and these are gonna be the frames for our canvas. So I'm gonna unwrap these, and then I'll get it all laid out over here, and we'll get to measuring and cutting. So I think the first step I wanna do is, you'll notice that I have the Indian logo in the middle here, and I just laid out the boards around it just to see what it's gonna look like. So. Um, I'm already off center a little bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to center this up a little bit and I'm going to take and cut most of the excess material away because I don't want to have to try to jack around with this gigantic uh, thing of canvas. So let me get that done real quick. Okay, so I've cut the material down uh, smaller so it's more workable size and I've centered it pretty much. Um, I'm, I'm doing this real quick. It's not going to be perfect. It's uh, you know, not getting a grade on it. So just eyeball it however you want. If you want to get real anal about it and measure it, it's on you. Everything works at this point. So what we want to do now is I'm going to go at the corners of each of the pieces of wood um, here where they connect. And I'm just going to poke a hole with a, uh, with a punch here. That's just gonna get me a mark to where it's gonna be so I can flip this thing over on the other side and then start making some lines with my Sharpies, so. Put the hole here. All right, so now I'm gonna flip it over and try to find those holes and then we're going to use our Sharpie and start drawing a little bit so we can mark it out where it's gonna be. Quick tip here, the canvas is black on the other side, so a black Sharpie is not gonna work. Uh, however, I do have a tire marker that I'm gonna use because you can actually see the yellow on it. I don't have a straight edge long enough to go all the way, but I'll use a board. Next thing you want to do is just take a straight edge and draw a line between the holes that I've marked with an X. So what we want to do then is, I'm just going to lay this out for now, but here's some tape strips. So what we're going to be doing in a second is pulling the backing off the tape strip, lining it up this way. So we're gonna take this one off, sorry. Uh, so we're taking this one off, this backing off, that wraps all the way around in the corners. And we'll see why in a second. And you want to just kind of dry fit it for now, make sure that we're where we need to be. 
And the whole idea with this is that inside this yellow square now is where our print's going to be. And we want these, the curved side, this curved side is here. That's going to be pointing in because that's going to be the inner most part of our canvas. And what we're going to end up doing is folding these pieces in to make a frame. So we want these lined up as best as we can. Again, I'm hanging mine in the garage, so if it's a little off, I'll blame it on the the uh, liquid refreshment that I'm consuming. That is not beer. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, one at a time, try to clean any dust off of this without removing my line. And then I'm going to remove the tape backing and uh, stick it to this. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line across here and cut this even more. This would be a end up being a 45 degree angle, I'm assuming, once we get done. So now I'm going to start uh, cleaning this up and then we will stick these on. Alright, start with this one. careful because I think once this sticks down it's pretty much in place. All these pieces there. Now I'm going to take and cut this section here. I'm going to take and cut. Uh, you got one triangle. I'm going to make it into two triangles so that we can fold over on the ends. I'm going to cut here and then just pull that over. And as you peel the uh, the backing off, you'll notice that there's adhesive here as well. So that's that's what this is actually sticking to.
that's all done. There's no turning back now. I'm going to give that a second to set up a little bit. Um, the frame that I'm using is a 28 inch frame. I'll leave a link in the description of this video of where to get it on Amazon. Okay, so what comes in the kit also is these little clips look like uh, staples. So now what we're going to do is we are going to fold these corners over and I'm going to put these clips in here and that should hold it fairly tight. All right, so now the next step is we're gonna be folding the canvas over. I'm gonna be trimming all this off in a second, but what we wanna do is peel off the adhesive backing here as well. So there's gonna be a long strip, and then each corner has a little piece, so get in there with your fingernails and get that off just so you have the maximum adhesion. This piece over. I do that on all four sides. All right, so it is all connected here. Next thing we're gonna need to do is trim this up a little bit and then uh, I'll do that off camera. We'll come back and then we'll show you the next steps. All right, what I'm doing now is I'm just stapling the uh, material on here. So now you got the corner braces. It's these. We're gonna put those in the grooves here. Hoping as we start to hammer these into the corners it will tighten this up i don't know though it's not looking promising so it's actually looking like a canvas which is good news i'm gonna see if i can't tighten it up a little bit more All right, well, it didn't turn out horribly bad. Um, this is what it's gonna look like. This material is actually kind of stretchy. It's uh, not a real canvas. It's more of a plastic, but you get the point. Here's what the end result is. Something that you can hang on the wall in your garage. <clears throat> Last step that we're gonna do is put some screws in the corner 
that should hold these uh, square braces, or the corner braces in. And that's really it. So I'll leave a link in the description of where I got all the stuff I used. The, uh, the canvas itself came from an Indian dealership. And this is, again, this is the covering over the, um, the bikes, the crates that the bikes come in. So if you want to make your own, pretty easy to do. Just bug your local Indian dealership or dumpster dive after they get a shipment of bikes and uh, follow these instructions. All right, thanks. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Uh, like and subscribe. I usually don't do arts and crafts. I usually work on bikes and cars, but um, figured this would be something different to look at. Thanks, bye.